Train's facing the wrong direction. Which is why it's called a turntable. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? We'll start it by finding a patrol. They spotted us! You know what to do, Delta! By the left!
table's clear. Come on, let's get that train turned around. Need another pair of hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the control rooms.
This is bridge control house. Bring us in close. All right, go, go!
Kate, your headings. They're really gone? Yeah. As soon as we killed the matriarch, they ended. I haven't had one since. And, and this idea you have about your mother being... It's not an idea. I saw her. And I saw whatever she is now. Jen's gonna react when she figures out we're getting the hammer online. Again. Son of a tool ship that are thinking a bit. Obviously, no thanks to me. Meanwhile, I often wonder who stuffed that gigantic stick up her ass. <laughs> Firm no comment from Captain Phoenix on that one. Paddock, bear. We're heading into the training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. The secrets? The secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Mascari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could write my ethnicity into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. Here's our way in. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Things in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. There's our security terminal. Just can't wait for Jack to access it.
What if your bot sent out a pulse? Maybe that will show us the way to get in there. Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? What if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Haddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Security. Facilities activating, Delta. Same? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. Storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. Jack, can you get that open? I can't believe Baird seemed to be a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, it crawled in anywhere.
Thanks. Swimmer assholes will be wiped clean. I'm aware of how that sounded. Yeah, let's just move on. Okay, I'd appreciate that. Shell spaces? How advanced was the UIR space program? <laughs> all right, so all the exits are blocked. Now what?
Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. Jack, see what you can do? I believe that knackered thing still works. But it's not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man! Jack's not a miracle worker! What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls at the base.
Jack, rip the door and hurry! Surprising no one! We got more swarm coming in! Can we hold them up? something, Kate. You're pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the call for compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Files is right. Oh, man. Saying it into my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen often. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? Vasgari technology, my friends. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities and said, oh, hello, we'll take that, piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. Okay, big fella. Let's get you aboard. So our Paddock's blue man's up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone, Baron trust Paddock, 
we trust bears. So by the transitive property, we trust paddocks nomads. The tr trends of transitive what? Book spas. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Or three. that thing to Baird. Lead the way. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait, if Bear's going back to New Affair with the Beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can fly us home. Oh, no. Didn't you crash at basic training? Oh, I had a slight mishap. Yeah. Otherwise known as a crash. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Afira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. Installed. 
tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird, cancel class and get out here! Swarm coming in! Short version, it stops bullets. Now get up there and use it! Delta, come on!
Come on, we still have shit to do in this bloody desert. All right, Delta, back on the skip. I'll cover the right So, are we back on task then? Let's hope so. Convoy, all right. All right, let's get in there and see what we can do. Look, they're still fighting. We gotta help them. These nomad skins one more time. Hey, give them a break. They've been fighting out here alone for months. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Bear. Safe travels. You too. Good luck. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's nomads? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we owe something for that. If we don't get our rocket launched soon, it's not just Paddock's nomads we'll be worrying about.
still need to attach the nose cone to the rocket, right? To sum it up, 8 out of 10. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you along. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Oh, the satellites talk to ours. What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh boy. You can understand why you never lost this rocket. favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, let's see what happens.
Rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which Come means on. we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. Oh. And then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with the jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. And there you go. One rocket successfully raised. Go, go, go! 